Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Miss Hino's LEGO Robotics. Super excited today to bring you the LEGO EV3 self-driving car. Check this dude out. So cool. So if you want to see how this thing drives and everything about it, stay with me. Hey guys, this is Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for checking out my channel and this video. If you love robotics and want to see more, hit that subscribe button. So I'm going to go ahead and leave you the link to the instructions. This was kind of like the other build that I did, that bulldozer, but this one's actually not free. Um, it's an Amazon Kindle um, link where you, I think I ended up paying 99 cents. It was actually 2.99, and I don't know how I got a promotion where I ended up paying just 99 cents for the instructions to this guy. Really cool robot. There's gonna be some expansion pieces you might have to separately get, but um, you can, I think you can figure out a way to manipulate around that, I'm not sure, or you can just go to Brick Owl or BrickLink and buy those individual pieces. So let's go ahead and take a look at this guy. Okay, so here is the LEGO EV3 self-driving car. Uh, there's so many cool features about it. Where do I start? Um, the coolest feature is going to be this media motor here that will actually allow this to be front-wheel drive. I'm super um, always into being able to control your steering on these guys. Um, kind of like the race car. I'll leave you the link to the race car because it's the same thing where you can... Um, have front wheel drive because of this front motor here, this medium motor right in here. So that, that actually is a great way to show you what you're going to need for expansion. That gear right there, that big tan gear, that's an expansion piece. These are expansion, but you know, those are just decorative, so you don't really need those. Definitely the wheels are expansion. Um, you know, I'm trying to think of a way, maybe some of you can figure out a way to use your ball bearing, because I know if you just have the EV3 kit, you're not going to have four wheels. So you can get away if you had two EV3s in the back here, it would just be like, you know, like that. Um, but even with these expansion tires, you can see how it's still facing up a little bit. But you know, it's okay. It's all good. Um, I think the only other expansion pieces, I, I'll have, I have a picture to show you the other expansion pieces. In fact, let's go ahead and take a look at that right now. Okay, so on motor control, you can see how I can rotate this gear so that this front steering can just change direction. So let me just show you what that looks like here with this gear. Just with that little tiny gear, that tiny gear that's spinning this big gray tan gear. So very cool. Whoops, let me change it back to... And so the other one, again, these expansion tires, not necessary. I mean, it, it is nice to have. So there you go. Okay, and then the ultrasonic sensors here in the front, I'll show you what that does in a second. So there's some really cool programming things you can do. Uh, I'm gonna show you how this can be like a self-parking car. Um, but then you can also have some fun with it just you know, with your Lego, um, you know, your Commander app. So let me show you that. Okay, everybody, like before, I'm gonna use my Commander app here. Um, I'll use the joystick for the large motors in the back. And then I'll use, uh, let's go with a slider for the front wheel drive. So I'll just go ahead and connect in here. So here is the front wheel drive right there. And 
Let me make sure I just don't run off the table here. It's kind of hard to just know which direction, you know. Oh, that was kind of cool. I think I need a bigger table. Let's see if I can push this cup off. Ooh, scary. I'm always afraid I'm going to drive off the table. You guys remember my uh, my balancer robot, right? Yeah, I wish I was on my FLL table. You know, I wouldn't have to worry about going off the edge here, but there you go, guys. Just the medium motor to steer the front and then the back motors here with these expansion tires. Just really neat to be able to drive around. Okay, just a word of caution. If you're gonna program with this robot, you're just going to have to be very careful, like when you set this robot up. You can see how if I try to pick it up, the wheels do want to turn. So you're just going to have to make sure they're, you know, perfectly straight before you would try some type of, you know, specific programming where you want it to be in a certain spot. So we're going to turn this robot into a self-parking car. For those of you that hate to parallel park like me, and you don't have those omnidirectional wheels like I showed you in that video. Hey, that's another video I'm going to put at the end of this video, the omnidirectional wheels for those of you that don't like to parallel park and you don't have a self, you know, parking car like this robot can be. So here's my job. I'm going to pretend like this is a car and the, that other cup is a car and we're going to try to get this car to park itself. So what's going to happen is the ultrasonic sensor will sense this object right here, which is the car. And what it'll do is it'll take over. It'll, the program will take over having this car parallel park itself right in between these two cups. And I know what you're saying. Wow, Mr. Hino, that's a lot of space in between there. Um, just because the wheel range is not that much, like, you know, the turning dimensions is not great. So when I make these turns, they're going to be kind of wide. So that's why I needed to give myself some space in there. So let's go ahead and check this out. Okay, let's go ahead and check out this self-parking car. Okay, it just saw that there's a car there with the ultrasonic, so it's backed up. And now we're going to turn out to go around it. Hey, this looks good. Okay, so we're just going to line ourselves up into this space now. See, this robot does such a better job than I would at parking. And there we go. Way better parking job than Mr. Hino would.
So there you have it. The self-driving for Mr. Hino. It's the self-parking. Really cool robot. And I just love the, you know, the ultrasonic look to it. So again, you know, if you can manage those expansion pieces, um, this is a really cool build. So again, check out the description for the link that I sent you guys for it. Hopefully you can get the promotion like I did and pay 99 cents, but $2.99, not bad for the instructions for this guy, especially if, you know, you can just have it forever. Um, so a really cool robot. I hope you guys enjoy it. It's definitely cool just to drive around with the Commander app, just to, you know, be able to back up, navigate, turn while you're going forward. So a really, really cool robot. All right, you guys, hopefully you have fun with it. I am Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out. Okay, guys, so there you have it. The self-driving for Mr. Hino, the self-parking. Um, really cool front-wheel drive robot here. So it's just a neat robot for you to be able to uh, program and also just mess around with on the Commander app. It is really fun to just drive this guy around on the Commander app, just backing up, going forward, turning while you're going forward. Um, you know, the range could be better, but you know, on a car, there's, you know, a certain amount of radius that your car is going to have, you know, before it just goes as far as it can. So it's, it's just a really cool um, robot to mess around with. So again, I left you guys a link in the description to the Amazon or Kindle link for the instructions. Hopefully you can pay 99 cents like I did, but you know, if it's $2.99, not a bad deal for the instructions, especially if you can have it forever. You know, it's always gonna be in your library. So a really cool robot, guys. Hopefully you have fun with it, okay? All right, guys, I am Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.